Hi guys, this is Joseph from Job Concepts. I'm sure everything is fine with you guys. All right, last week I was checking my Instagram handle and I went to Grace Girls Gorilla's Instagram handle and I saw this uh, beautiful review text and I thought I should do it. So I would want you to see this. So you have this text coming in from the camera into the scene and then rotating and all that. So I thought I should do this, um, this same animation. And this is mine, you can see it here. So you have this coming up. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to come about this animation. The first thing we're going to do is to bring in our Motex from our MoGraph menu. Then you see your more text. So as soon as you click on more text, you have the field. Then inside the text field, I'm going to change to whatever thing I want. So let's see what I want is um, um I could make it capital letter view. Then you can look for a particular font that you would choose. So let's say I'm going to use um okay let's say this I think this is the font I used so we could use this okay so if you look at this and you can also change from here to whatever you want I think this is it all right so it has options there okay that's true so this is what I chose, but you could decide to choose any any other fonts you wish anyway. So I think as you go with the bold. Alright, so um what I'm doing now is just to set up my text before I start the animation. So I could just come and change this to 100. The next thing is bring it from left to middle so that it's going to be at the center. Alright, so I'm trying to have a very small scene as possible so the next thing i'm going to have is to change this look at this bevel this extruded end is too much so i could just go to the depth maybe give it eight thereabout so i think 10 should do then we could go to the cap section change the start to fillet cap and the end also to fillet cap so what that does is just to create an edge for us a beveled edge so if you look at this we don't really have so much subdivision and you can see the text crumbling on itself so what we could do to this is just to reduce the radius so i could make this one or even 1.5 for the front and for the end also 1.5 so it affects the end but still you don't have a definition because we have one subdivision here so I could go to this step and change it. So as soon as I start changing this, you will see the effect here. So let's say we'll go with 10. 10 might be too much because if I hit NB on my keyboard, you see the subdivisions that we have here. <coughs> so if I, I'm sorry about my cough. <coughs> sorry about that. So you can change this subdivision and you see what you have. So I think five, six should be okay for us. And the same thing here. Six and for us to constrain this, NA will go back to shaded mode. Then I could just click on this constraint so that I have my text not getting too big. So I think this is pretty much it for the text. So the next thing is to start up the animation. So because this is a MoGraph <coughs> tool, then it will work with all of our effectors and all that. So what I want is, if you look at the video, you have the text revealing coming forth from behind to the scene and all that. So before that, I'm going to start with my camera. So I'll go into the camera, go to the coordinates, zero out this by right clicking on this handle, zero out this also. And if I go out of the camera, I'm going to see that the camera is directly at the center of the world so i can bring this out a little bit <clears throat> so i go back to the camera this is what i'm going to have i'm going to have this so i could bring this out a little bit more 
so I have this cinematic review. So let's look at the animation. But before I start with this text, I would want to animate my camera. So I will start my camera from here. Click on this key or I could just click on this to record only the Z position. So if I click on this, it records only the Z position. Then I'll go to the end of the timeline, bring the camera backwards, then record this. So what I want is I don't want easing in and easing out cinematic so I'm going to right click on my screen make sure I have the camera selected right click on my screen I go to show f, f curves <coughs> so um, I have everything selected if you don't have all the points selected you can just come here hit ctrl a select everything then you click on this to convert it to linear or you can just hit alt l so if you click here it converts it to, to this linear and the animation is just linear you don't have any form of easing in and easing out so if i go into the camera and i play I have that moving in so it's constant just no easing in and easing out so the reason why i'm doing this is i want to set up my camera first before i start the animation for the text so the animation for this text is going to the way i did this is that it's going to take two dimensions i'm going to have two sets of separate animations for it i'm going to have one that brings it from behind into the scene and the other one that change the rotation so how i go about that is selecting this mode text go to mode graph effector and change select plane as soon as i click on plane it brings the text upward so you can see if i close this so the text jumps up and the distance it jumps up is exactly if you go to the parameter, it's exactly 100 centimeter units. So, what is happening is that it's displacing this test at that value and on the y axis. That's why it's going up. But what we want is we want it to come towards the negative z axis, towards this camera. So, we're going to zero out this, then increase the value or reduce the value for the z until it gets it gets behind the camera so this is the first thing so we could just go for a round number minus 1000 so we have that but then if i start animating nothing happens the text is just there so what we want to do is we want to animate this such that the text can go back to position and that can be done using i think i have done something here okay sir. so that can be done using your fall off under your plane so let me start renaming this so we have that so this is going to be my um cinematic view okay then this is going to be my position oh sorry position plane so this affects the position which is what we've done so for us to do the animation such that the position comes up so what we do is we go to the fall off of the plane effector then we we'll add a linear fall off to it by the way i'm using r20 so if you're using r19 and lower version you're not going to have this new field and um, so if you're using this new feed all you just need to do is just click on linear feed but if you're using older one you're going to see the section where you can choose the linear um, type so you can just go to the um, fall off tag rather so i'll go to linear so this comes up so what happened is that the first thing you see is that you have the text some text going back and some coming out and you also have color change so i'll first resolve the color i don't want to have change in color so i'll just come to this section click on this then the color becomes normal the next thing is i'm going to scale up this text such that it covers everything all the text it holds all the text all right so i think 
I had a problem there sorry about that so if we go back to this linear fall off you tend to have this so I've resized this such that it covers the whole text so once we have that the next thing is start animating this so I'm going to bring this here notice I'm selecting this linear field so I'm going to start my animation from here from 5 I'm going to keyframe this then go to maybe 40 bring it over keyframe that so if I go to, into my camera and check that this is what I'm going to get see that so you have this so if you feel that is too fast what you can do is just increase the time let's say up to 60 then if you play it's going to go in a lot lower than before so that is the first part of the animation and the second part of the animation is adding another plane which will only affect the rotation of this object so for us to do that we just select this text then we'll go back to amograph effector plane effector then it also does the same thing it takes it up and let's first change this to rotation plane then for this rotation plane we don't want to affect the position at all so i'm going to get rid of position the only thing we want to affect is rotation so we'll go to this rotation then what we want is the heading rotation if you can see you can already see what we're getting here so the heading rotation should be 90 so everything becomes this so what we do now is just to go to the fall off also add a linear fall off to it and also change the color then what we'll do is we'll also scale this up so we we'll scale this up then we'll bring this back but the animation of this second one is going to take a different one it doesn't start instantly so we'll, we'll let it hit its position before we start animating this so we'll move it here as soon as we have this let's say up onto this place then we can select this keyframe go to the last maybe 80 then bring this field out yeah and also keyframe so we can bring this to 40 so if we go into the camera and play everything together this is what we're going to get so if I hide this um, effector so I can see my text well enough this is what we're going to get you can see that the animation is playing fine but then I would pause this and show you something now so notice something here um, I'm trying to replicate what we have there such that um, it feels like I'm very close to this text and while I'm close to the text I have a sense of um, I don't know how to put this you don't really see the end of the text they look so close to you that seeing the end well, it seems as it's very close to you you don't really see anything and that can be done I don't know if you understand this but I, let me explain it in the setting so that can be done in our camera so if you go to the camera it's just the focal length so if you increase this focal length to let's say 80 it brings it very close to that but then you would want to make sure increasing the focal length you don't you still see everything but right now we don't see anything so but let me increase this up to 100 i'm going to show you how to resolve that anytime you have animated an object and you change anything there is a way you can go out of that so i've animated this but i want to make sure i still see everything 
and I don't want to change the animation. So what you need to do is just click and add a null object. You could call it anything you wish. So I can call this control. Control. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the camera a child of it, of the control. Then I can bring the control back. So it does not affect the animation added to the camera. The only thing it just affects is the movement of the child. So it's still covering everything. So I'm going to bring the control back such that I see everything. So if I go back here, I can still bring it backwards. So, but then the problem now is you can see that the text is now going in front of it instead of it going behind the camera. So what we can do to this is just to go to the position and um, change the position of this text. So we can just go to this position, go to the parameter and reduce this even more so we have it behind that. So if you go back to the camera and play, I'm going to get that feel. So you can see what you have now. This is kind of different from what we had before. It, you have the sense of getting too close, very close to this, still far away from it. You seem close, but then still far away. You can't really see the information of the text, what it's reading. So that is the purpose for that. And also another thing with this is that we're changing this focal length to this high value is that when you start adding um, um, depth of field to it, you have a subtle uh, depth of field. So you don't really have too much blurriness in the scene. So you just have a very minute blurriness and all that so it makes everything look realistic and all that um i want to give credit to grayscale gorilla because i i saw it in their instagram page and i thought i should make something similar and this is how it was made so if you feel you've learned something in this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and like the um video and if you have a better way of doing this please hit me in the comment section and tell me how well to do that and also if you are new to my channel please do subscribe it really means a lot to me and i want to say thank you guys for going along with me in this journey and i want to say god bless you bye